Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Oshale here, and this is Oshi Reads. And today's video is inspired by the novella. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Now this novella has been made into a movie many 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 times and specifically this video is inspired by the ghosts of Christmas. The three ghosts of Christmas, the ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, and the ghost of Christmas future that visit Scrooge one fateful Christmas time and thus the three ghosts of Bookmas were born. The ghost of Bookmas past, the ghost of Bookmas present, and the ghost of Bookmas future. So buckle up, you are in for a frightful ride. Oh, and this is Bookmas Day 9. Merry Bookmas. Had to put my hair down for this one, y'all. So some of the best books of the year, the most highly anticipated books of the year, come out around Christmas time. For the ghost of Bookmas past, we will be talking about books that came out last Christmas that I hated loved and that disappointed me. For the purpose of this video we will only be talking about new releases of Bookmas Past, new releases of Bookmas Present, and of course new releases of Bookmas Future. Now for the ghost of Bookmas Past, what are some Bookmas new releases that came out in Christmas time of 2016 that I loved? Why I've got quite a few. The first one I want to talk about it is Wait For It by Mariana Zapata. I talked about it yesterday in my Bookmas Day 8 video, so I won't gush too much more about it. I will definitely link the Goodreads page for this one down below, so you can definitely click on it and check it out. All I can say is that Mariana Zapata definitely knows the way to my book-loving heart. Another book that I absolutely adored that came out last year around this time is... Scarlet Stone by Jewel E. Ann. With Scarlet Stone, we have a third generation thief whose life takes an interesting turn when she goes on a special assignment. It basically makes her question everything she ever thought she wanted and definitely makes her life take a drastic turn. This book was so interesting in that I'd never quite read anything like it and Scarlet really endeared herself to me as a character and she hasn't quite let go yet. I highly recommend this read if you are looking for something about a thief who becomes somewhat reformed but still has the heart of a thief at the end of the day. When I think about the ghost of Bookmas Past, I'm actually quite surprised to find that there were no disappointments in the new releases of December 2016. All the books I read I loved. Vicious by L.J. Shen I especially liked. If you are a fan of bully romances, you know those books where the male protagonist is super mean and cruel to the female protagonist, until they fall in love that is, then you will enjoy Vicious and the subsequent books in the series. These guys, well they're unlike any male protagonist I've ever read. Another book that I loved that came out in 2016 is Franco by Kim Holden. And this book was an especially touching read. Franco was an overwhelming male protagonist who was the bad boy turned good and I loved every minute of his story. Definitely check this one out. Also Swing by Adriana Locke, which I have already talked about this book in this series already, this book miss. So once again, as always, these books will be linked down below. Last but not least, Home Tears by Tijan came out last book miss. And you know, it wasn't my favorite, so I guess I could say this is one of the ones that kind of disappointed me a bit. Tijan has become an auto-buy author for me, and this wasn't as good as her usual, but it was definitely different. It was fully an adult book featuring an adult female protagonist, which, I mean, she usually writes about teens with a very dark edge, but still about teens in high school. So this was a nice twist. Home Tears was definitely interesting. It is about our female protagonist who goes back home to basically a whole town that hates her, a family that has completely disowned her for one reason or another, and she's looking to start over in the most hostile environment possible, and yet so many interesting things happen, mysteries are solved, questions are answered, and she goes on a little discovery of self-realization and love. So those parts were interesting, but overall it wasn't quite up to par with the other Tijan novels I've read and loved. Moving on to the Ghost of Christmas Present. What are some new releases that came out December 2017 that I'm loving? Hmm, why? 
Let me share those with you. I've just started reading The Hookup by one of my favorite authors, Kristen Ashley. If you haven't read her before, you must check her out if you are a lover of romance and authors that definitely push the envelope in their world building but still manage to pull it off. I'm only on chapter four, but I am obsessed as I always am with Kristen Ashley novels. I will probably stay up way late into the night being this one. Ah, yes, moving right along to The Ghost of Christmas Future. Now, as Christmas 2018 is still quite far off, many books still don't have a release date pinned down for December 2018. The most I could find into the year of 2018 was release dates for the months of July, August, September. I think the latest was October, nothing past October. So, you know, we're not working with too much right now, but we can make it work. So I'm going to be talking about two books that will be coming out around, around July and August of 2018 because out of all of the books that I found, even the ones going into September, October, I couldn't find any that I was particularly excited to read except for these two which come out in the summer, but hey, let's go with it. Dr. Strange Beard by Penny Reed is the latest in the Winston Brothers series which I raved about in yesterday's video and if you have not yet checked out the Goodreads pages for this series, you must. It is linked down below. You will love it. It is so good and the audiobooks are excellent. Also, another Colleen Hoover book is coming out in 2018. Ah, oh, Colleen. She rarely disappoints us. The title of this one is All Your Perfects, which her titles are always so intriguing and make me wonder, hmm, what is this one going to be about? Well, either way, I will be pre-ordering so it doesn't even matter. So there you have it, the ghosts of Bookmas past present and future. Let me know which books came out in December of 2016 that you loved, which books came out this December of 2017 that you are loving. Please, I always need more book recommendations and of course my TBR just keeps growing. <sighs> book lover problems. And also let me know which books you are looking forward to in 2018. If you find some December 2018 new releases, oh, let me know your ways. So that is it for this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching my Bookmas series. I will catch you guys in my next Bookmas video. And goodbye! Love you guys. Bye! Two people, a second chance at love, 15 years later, after they were separated in New York City. These two met for the first time when the male protagonist moved his stuff into his NYU dorm room. And it was love at first sight. Their friendship was magical, their relationship even more so, and unfortunately they were torn apart.